Hey, hello everybody! Welcome back! And today we are gonna be playing World of Tanks again. And, huh, World of Tanks? Yes, you heard that precisely right. Today we're gonna be playing World of Tanks. Uh, why? Well, as some of you might know, uh, my interest in World of Tanks has been plummeting into the hell lately. But today is, I suppose, a very special day, um, because Wargaming have released this tasty looking game mode called Frontline. And um, as some of you might know, I did play the first version of Frontline and I absolutely loved it. So I kind of have some high hopes that this version of Frontline is going to be pretty cool as well. Um, but of course, uh, we can speculate all we want, but uh, I'm just going to try it out this entire stream, maybe together with you guys, um, and yeah, during the stream and at the end, uh, I'll basically tell you guys the conclusion and uh, tell you guys what I think about it. Okay, so apparently they have a ranking system now. I mean, they had it last time though, but I think it's a little bit different. Oh, what? You got tank rewards now? Okay, hold the hell up. What's this? You can win an SDA, that is it. Emil 1941, hmm, alright, and a unique tier 9 vehicle, okay, looks cool. Uh, I've heard some rumors that the unique tier 9 vehicle is going to be the Waffen Traga OV100, but I'm not 100% sure about that, so um, yeah, please don't hang me if I'm wrong. Let's start on the Progetto, that starts a little bit all round, I mean, I think you can't go wrong with the Progetto. Holy heck, there are quite a lot of people playing actually, 150,000? Damn! That's so much! I mean, I logged into World of Tanks to get some footage for a video like a few days ago and the total player was like 80,000-ish, 70,000 and now it's like almost double. What the hell? So can Frontline be the saving angel of World of Tanks? Can it be the fresh breath of air that this game needs? Who knows? Who knows? It's getting a fucking game already, Jesus Christ. Maximum time queue, battle has expired, please next. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, this is absolute trash, guys. Wow, nice game, War Gaming. Good job, great matchmaking. Oh? Oh, look at that, we're in a game. All right, so um, our mission is to defend the zones. Uh, okay, pretty straightforward. Let's see how it's gotta go, boys. First game in front line. Yeah, rip. All right, great start so far. Um, luckily, we can respawn in uh, front line, so that's cool. There we go. <laughs> By the way, look at the list, man. It's literally 80% uh, premium. So I guess that's the big deal with front lines. I mean, it has its negative and its positive. Like, as I already said, it keeps the premiums from the regular matchmaking. But then again, it still kind of ruins front lines. But I guess it's not as big of a deal in front lines as it is in regular battles. Since you can respawn, you know? So that kind of softens up the, um, the frustration a little bit. And stuff. RIP! There are way too much premiums. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, it's World of Tanks. I mean, it doesn't matter which game mode you play. You're always going to fight premiums. All right, let's go. Let's try and save the final flank. Russian accuracy, is it still there? Of course it is. Nice. At least something I can rely on. Ain't that right, Mr. Defender? At least I know that you're always gonna perform well. That's literally the only guarantee you can get in this game. <laughs> the only non-RNG dependent aspect of this game is that a defender is gonna perform well in this game. Even if you're getting wrecked by half of the enemy team, you're still gonna survive for quite a substantial amount of time. More than in a normal tank. Oh well. I mean, I died, but that's mainly because they were literally shooting with six or five tanks at me. But I don't know guys, actually, uh, first impression, I don't know, this game mode felt so much more satisfying when it was, when it was released like a year ago. I don't know if it's just me, but, uh, I don't know, probably because the, the new factor, the wow factor is kind of lost, because it's pretty much the same game as last year. Well, don't get me wrong, this is still miles better than the random battles in this, in Wall of Tanks, because... They are literally trash, you always get bottom tier, and it's just not fun at all to play random battles in this game. But... Eh... Eh... Yeah, 
I don't know what to think about it. I think I have to play a couple more games to fully get a feeling oh, for this game. Out. Maybe you're bored of the game. I don't know. Yeah, I can guarantee you that I'm bored of the game. But I was mainly bored of the normal gameplay that World of Tanks offered. You know, the, the random battle gameplay. That's what I was bored of. But this is something new, something refreshing. And uh, to be honest, I'm enjoying this way more than random battles. But to say that, like, wow, I'm going to play this game mode like every freaking day no i don't really feel that way yet i don't know my chains but i do doubt it oh wow especially with this kind of rng oh wow so yeah even though it's a completely different game mode the uh, the bias in the rng is still more than present <laughs> yeah that's the safe thing to say more than present oh hello there Oh, come on. That was bullshit. That was aimed pretty well. Come on, I did not deserve to miss that. Please, RNG. Why can't you just go commit die, RNG? Why can't this game just be rewarding the skill and rewarding aiming good? Like, what's the problem? Oh, we actually won. Nice. Cool, we added Major. I mean Major for the first game since two months. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. Oh god. It takes so fucking long to switch servers. Yeah, the servers are on heavy load, I guess. And Wargaming has no money to upgrade the servers, apparently. I don't know where all those premium monies from them go, but... <laughs> It's clear to see that they're not going into the servers. <laughs> Since it's still taking forever to find a fucking game of Frontlines. War game in place. Invest in your flipping game. So yeah guys, <laughs> that was the entire stream. <laughs> one game of Frontlines is we can't fucking join the second one. <laughs> because the servers are too fucking busy. <laughs> oh god. Can we just like... Put an elevator music on there. Alright, I got you guys, don't worry. Oh! Oh, we got a game! We got a game! <laughs> the elevator music worked! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, cool. So apparently, if you're <laughs> struggling getting into a game of front lights, just play fucking Jeopardy team and everything will fix it. Ah oh, fuck, of course I miss. Of course I miss because I am not in a Russian tank. Completely forgot about that. Oh what the fuck? Okay, let's pull back. Oh yeah, of course, I cannot do anything because it's Russia. It's not normal Russia, no, no, no. It is the most balanced, the most advanced latest version of Russia. As you can see, I, can, I can't I can hit him very well. So yeah, I guess it's not Russia. Never mind. It's probably... Let's see how long is the stream going? A little less than an hour. So it only takes a little less than an hour to just get back to the ghoul of frustrations and to completely look over this game mode. That's kind of sad. I was hoping more of it. Oh well. I guess my expectations were a little too high. Oh, thanks for giving your side, fam. Much appreciated. Oh, what the fuck? Like, come on. Really? Really, dude? Heavy artillery Finally. Oh, wait, that wasn't even me. Fuck's sake. So annoying. So annoying! Like, fair enough, I'm not fully aiming my shots, I'm fully aware of that, but what else am I supposed to do? If I wait too long, then they're back behind cover. <sighs> I don't know, I, I guess I don't see the fun in this game anymore. I guess that's the whole problem. Yeah. Uh, I think I've seen enough, guys. I think I've seen enough. I am going to finish this game though, but... 
Uh, it's sad. I think I expected way more for front lines. It's just this. It's just the same old rusty game, just in a different coat. So yeah, the the hype goes away quite quickly, at least in my case. Um, let's see. All right, let's go with the defender again. See if defender is better. Of course it is. It's Russia, and it's a defender, so of course it's gonna be better. I mean, what what's the fun in that? You know, that only one type of tank is good in this game. I mean, even look at this, like. How was how this any fun? Like, I just don't get this game, really. I really don't get it. Did you just see the sheer difference with that? Like, just just re rewind the stream a couple of minutes and look at me trying to take the same kind of shots in a uh, Centurion. Just the same type of shots. Like, yeah, fair enough, I didn't pan that, but point one, that was a defender. Point two, I still fucking hit it. I mean, what's what's the fun in that? You know, what's the fun in that? That only a certain type of tank is good in. You see, that's that's barely aimed. That's even. I was aiming for two seconds, maybe. How did the four require it? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, indeed, Russia. You can say that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's. Two games, um, one attacking side, one defending side, and yeah, I, I don't think I need to play any more games just to get the straight to pay about this game mode. I don't know. To be honest, I really expected that front lines would change my opinion about this game again, but sadly, and trust me guys, I honestly wish I was different, that... It just doesn't. I mean, the, the first hour, I mean, you can see in the stream, the first hour, it's fun and all, because it's still something new. But after that first hour, you you, you still realize, like, oh, heck, it's just the same old rotten game, just in a different coat. Uh, so, yeah. To be honest, mm, no, I, I don't think Frontline is, is, is something for me. Of course, this has not been that you all should not play Frontlines, of course, but... I don't know. I mean, you heard my story. I was a guy that just quit it, like World of Tanks two months ago. Haven't played it since two months. Now I started to play it again because Frontlines was giving me hope into enjoying this game again. But I don't know. I guess I'm just completely burned out of this game. I mean, you, you could just compare the two streams, you know? Just compare my first War Thunder stream to this stream. I mean, I was going completely crazy about War Thunder and I was just playing like the the smallest tanks possible and stuff and here's something new something big and i was just meh so yeah overall my opinion um no i don't think frontline is going to make a big change into my vision of wolf tanks so it's sad but i i wish i i wish it would be different man i wish it would be like changing my opinion about this game in a positive way but it just simply doesn't at least for me just just keep that in mind at least Jack it up. Oh, 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 oh,